2021 as I'm filming this and I thought um, I'm going to be doing three videos one is this one today which is all drugstore priced makeup and then I'm going to be doing a lifestyle hair and skincare uh, best of for 2020 and then I'll finish out um, probably next week I'll have the best of luxury makeup items so it should be a lot of fun these are my favorite shows to do um, I do apologize for the delay in getting things out. It's been really busy. My new job is dealing with um, the public in a um, kind of an official capacity and we had lots of windstorms and power outages and things and I was working 16 hours on Christmas Day. So it was very, very busy, but that was a great paycheck. So finally, I can afford makeup again and things are all good. So I hope all of you um, have had nice winter holiday season and um, it only goes up from down. That's all I can say. You know, 2021 is going to be okay. All right. So let's start off. These are all drugstore priced uh, items and I think I'll start with my nails and these are, I have one color here and this is from CVS. This is called Sunset and I don't know if you can see it, but it changes color to pink, orange, and yellow. It's kind of a really neat, it does look like the colors of a sunset, and this is the CVS 360 brand. So I, I just love this, and I buy it every year, and it goes on sale a lot, but you can see on the bottle itself, it has a sheen. It's very, very like a holographic kind of color, but for the plain Janes, this one is actually, um, this one I have on the rest of my hand is called Skinny Dip and I also use a pink kind of light version too which is called Minimalist and that one you know between these two I, I think these are just very very flattering on especially older mature skin and they're also you know just really pretty and a lot of times you can use coupons at CVS to get the SE um, nail polish is really cheap so we'll just start off with the nails and that's cool. For primers, um, I really like this one from e.l.f. This is kind of the bluish green bottle. This is a hydrating um, primer. It goes on, it looks like a mousse, a kind of a mousse. It absorbs so nicely into your skin and it plays well with other makeup. And I think sometimes when you put a primer on, if you put some makeup over the top, it all beads up because it doesn't play well with the ingredients. But this particular one from e.l.f. is very, very good. Um, I also really love the putty primer and that's for my real deep lines. I will put the putty primer in that. I, I have a pan on that. I really like it. This is I think my second jar of it as well. But e.l.f. really wins in the drugstore primers uh, situation. I think they have some great stuff. For eye primer, um, there's a couple that are good. I think I, I still keep going back to the Milani. And you just need a teeny bit, a little dot, and put it on. And I think it really helps your eyeshadow stay on much better and much longer. So I think that this is still kind of an old classic favorite. So there really aren't any new um, developments there. But there are new developments in foundation. So um, I was going to just go with my, um, this is my bourgeois healthy mix and this shade I think is um, this one is in beige clear it's number 53 in the healthy mix and this is a beautiful serum like uh, foundation if you have dry skin this is a really really nice I know in Europe and the UK you can get this very easily in the US not so much you really have to kind of get it off of Amazon or um, you know, one of the beauty kind of um, 
distributors on online, but I really like this and it's very inexpensive. I think this particular one was on sale, it was like seven or eight dollars in the US, so um, that's the healthy mix. But what I discovered is I put in um, four star or higher rated foundations just out of curiosity to see what would come up. And I didn't agree with some of the choices that did come up because they were things that didn't work for me. But this one I hadn't tried before, so I thought I would try it. I tried two colors in it. Uh, this is Farah. It's called Farah, and it is kind of like an Amazon home brand of foundation. And these two containers were $10. So they're like $5 each. I think if you buy one on its own, it's $6.99. So either way, this is a really nice foundation for the price. Um, I have shade 102 Nude and shade 103 Warm Peach. And I'll just um, give you a swatch of each of those. This is the 102 Nude. And I think what I'll do is I'll put on my fish belly white hand so you can see it. Now the top turns so you get that little added protection of having it not open up on you. This is 102 Nude. And then this is 103 Warm Peach. And I tend to mix both of these together for my winter shade because they, um, they're just that far apart. They're about a half shade apart. And one's slightly more peachy than the other. But I really like this um, foundation a lot. So you're gonna see now the, so you can see the nude and the peach. So they both work really well on my skin. The peach really kind of brightens things up. And when I mix the two of them together, it makes a really pretty um, all around foundation. I like to go up just the half a shade. I think it gives you kind of a healthier look. It's not too obvious and I always take it down the neck to underneath whatever clothes I'm wearing so it looks like my whole shade is there and I do my ears too if my ears are showing. So um, this is a wonderful, wonderful makeup for the price of like $6.99 each or you get two of them for $10. Um, if you are a medium light to a light skin person, the 102 and 103 are perfect. They do have a 101 that's very, very light, so if you have very, very pale skin, you may like the 101. Uh, 104, it starts getting more medium-ish and a little bit dark, so uh, I think these are just wonderful. I'm so glad I, I just took a chance to try them, and I figured with a price like 10 bucks for two, <laughs> this is like really good. So again, the name is Farah. And I'll link all of the stuff I talk about, I'll link it below so you can click on it and have a look at it. Uh, these are on Amazon, so I think they are made in Korea. So, really good. Fair now, I think the concealer is going to surprise you. I was going to do LA Girl Concealer because I do like it, but I tried this this year and it surprised me. And I hate the company. I don't like L'Oreal. I don't like the animal testing. I don't like some of the politics they've dealt with in the past so I, I really don't always encourage L'Oreal but I know that a lot of you love the brand and like their products so I tried this and now I really like it this is the um, True Match Eye Cream Concealer so it's part eye cream and part concealer and with that combination and this is uh, N1-2 they have a whole huge um, assortment of colors uh, this one is, is I think, third in line. It's, it's not the lightest, it's the third. So I'm just going to show you here. You get a lot that comes out, but most of it is eye cream. It's a very emollient uh, concealer, and it does do the coverage. It does do the concealing, but you get this hydration that's just wonderful. And what I do is I will go over it uh, initially and put it in. And then I will put a little setting spray. I'll put a little setting spray over the top. And that just kind of settles it in so it doesn't settle in all my wrinkles. And we'll talk about the setting spray later. But it's just a wonderful concealer. It does not go into the lines. But what I do is the very last step of my makeup anyway 
is after I put everything on, I get my, you know, five by mirror going here and uh, it's actually an eight by mirror and I look really close and I use q-tips or cotton buds as you call them in the UK and I go around every little thing I pat down all where it has dried in because it gives your makeup a chance to settle in and you can see where you have to kind of tap it in to take care of it so um, this works really well and the L'Oreal and it is a true match eye cream concealer absolutely wonderful so next in line would be my um, blushes and this is kind of high-end for drugstore but it is in Target and it is in Walgreens so it does kind of count as drugstore for blushes I love this honest beauty for cream blush this is just beautiful and this is um, peony pink and then this one is coral peach so I have a really nice assortment here of colors these are beautiful um, with a cream blush you get a more of a airbrushed kind of watercolor look and I have yes I do have two different colors of blush on. <laughs> But this is more of a warm tone and this is more of a pink tone and one looks like a natural flush and one is just a brightening flush so I think these are just wonderful blushes and they are cream blushes and Honest Beauty is of course um, you know it's healthy ingredients it's very very um, green it's it's just a great beauty product and I really like supporting them because I know that they're very uh, they're recyclable. It's it's just a very green company, and the ingredients in there don't have a lot of harmful things like some of the other cosmetics have in them. Um, so I really do like Honest Beauty a lot. And there's uh, I think one other thing here later on that I'll talk about from this company, but I think they they did a really great job with their blushes. Now for a powder blush, I mean I cannot beat. Essence. I mean, Essence has. They're also the. They're also the highlight, but their blushes. They're like two ninety nine, three ninety nine tops. Wherever you are, some of the larger cities charge a little bit more. This is called the Blush and Beloved. And I am telling you, oh my gosh, that just like a watercolor painting on your cheeks. It's just beautiful and it lasts all day uh, they got this so right you know with the formulation and everything and also with the highlighter um, with this I tend to a lot of times I will take uh, the back side of one of my brushes and I will scrape it all down I'll spray it with alcohol and I'll scrape it again and that keeps it from getting hard pan I've had this one for a year I think and I was really paranoid after COVID-19, so I was spraying everything with alcohol. And these have surpassed. I mean, this nude uh, highlighter from Essence and then the, the blush in Beloved, these two are just wonderful. There's just no need to spend hundreds of dollars on really high-end makeup when these drugstore products work so well. For, um, for powder, this is the Rimmel uh, Stay Matte. I hate the packaging. Oh my God, can they please just charge 50 cents more and put a decent cover on this? The packaging sucks, it really does, but the powder is wonderful. And I think you can, you can do anything you do with a high-end powder, you can do with the Rimmel Stay Matte. And this is a classic that I just revisited because I was in the drugstore and I thought, gee, I haven't tried that in a while. I wonder, I, I know I liked it at one point, you know. I've been doing the show now almost eight years. So in eight years, I have tried hundreds and hundreds of different products. And it's like, it's so funny how sometimes you remember, this one was good. This was a really good powder. So this is a Rimmel Stay Matte and it doesn't have the gacky smell that a lot of their products, they have added fragrance to a lot of their products, but not their powder. And I think it's great. Warm bronzer. Um, I have two here because I know a lot of people don't like this one, but I love it. This is the Physician's Formula uh, Butter Bronzer. This is just the plain old 
butter bronzer. There's not the light, it's not the deep or anything. It's, it's plain old butter bronzer. And this just, it comes with its own little thing that you can apply it with, but I, I, I use a brush for this, but I'm wearing it today and it's very subtle and it's very light and it's just wonderful. There is a scent added for coconut and some people don't like that. So for you folks who don't like the coconut scented physician's formula, this is the e.l.f. Uh, contour palette and what's kind of amazing about this and what I tend to do is I take the brush and go back and forth with both of these. Um, these powders look very much like the Kevin Aquan uh, contour powder. I mean, the medium contour powder in Kevin Aquan, you, it's almost an exact dupe. It's really close. So I do like these two from the e.l.f. company, um, and I think they work really, really well, and there is no scent to these. So, so those of you who don't like the scent from the Physician's Formula, um, these work really nicely together, and I use them both together because it lightens up this from being so gray, and you get that bronziness from that. Some people don't like to use a bronzer to do a little bit of contouring or dimensional work. Um, it's one of those rules I break sometimes, but I think on older skin, mature skin, um, I'm 62, I'm gonna be 63 in two months. So, I mean, um, I can't have a real heavy, deep, dark, long contour. Or I'll really start looking weird, you know? So I do like mixing these two together and putting them on. So moving on to um, eyeshadows, I think, again, Elf has really upped their game. And they have these little four-piece things, and I've seen them price anywhere from $4 to $7, depending on where you are looking, because I've gone into different CVSs and some in larger towns, and they are um, more expensive for the same thing. So. Um, <sighs> So now this one is called uh, Cream and Sugar, and this has uh, some nice light shades. I really like this light shimmer shade. I think it's very pretty on the inside corner of your eye, and you can see that it just brightens everything up there. And then this dark shade in, in this palette. I like those two shades the best. I, I'm not as keen on like the, um, the rusty uh, rose gold shades. They don't look good, as good on me, but I do like this really dark shade. It is just so pigmented and pretty. And I mean, you don't hardly have to have any on there and it, and it stays all day. It's a really, really nice um, dark shade. Let me see if I can just tap it in here with my finger adding it in there. Uh, I like Carnival Candy too in this series because it has that teal color blue which don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of teal. And it's really nice these little ones. So for a small palette I do like these elf ones. Now for a mid-size palette um, again Honest Beauty. This is a basic um, palette and it's called Get It Together. Um, eyeshadow palette and it's just basic everyday stuff that you need. Now they have a nice little little card here that tells you the little eye looks that you can do with it. It's got a nice mirror. But look at these shades. You know you've got a light shade for your base, you've got a black, and then you've got some basic browns, transitions, and creams. And these are just wonderful. There's a couple of shimmers here. There is a purple. Um, and I love lining with like um, a, a neutral beige shimmer under my eyes. I think it's just really pretty. But the quality is nice. It does blend. It does last. And you get some shimmers in here. It's a pretty shimmery kind of slate gray shimmer. I don't know if I can work that there or not. Whoop! Went on my under eye. <laughs> That's Fallout, okay. So, that is the Honest Beauty palette, and uh, these things are a little bit high. I think the Honest Beauty line is a little bit high uh, for 
for what it is, but I think the blushes are around uh, nine to twelve dollars each, and I think this is seventeen to nineteen. So for drugstore, it's a little on the high side. They also have lip stuff and they have skincare stuff, which I haven't really tried, but I know she has a full line of baby products as well and cleaning products. So um, she's really trying to kind of expand on uh, the healthy, clean beauty kind of thing. And I, I really like to support that. Um, I had put in five star eye palettes and this brand came up over and over again. And the brand is called You Can Be. And what it is is, um, I think it's out of China, but they, a really nice mirror and they do dupes of famous palettes and they also have their own quality uh, eyeshadows. This one is called Back to School and each of the things is kind of cute. They're after subjects you would take like chemistry and physics. Um, I love this one. This is the, um, this is the glitter and it's the art class. I thought that was really clever use and now it's in its own gel. So I'm just gonna show you um, just what it does. And it's better if you use these glitter shades with your finger because it just, see it's really, it has its own gel based. I mean, it's really, really jelly like. So um, it does have its own base. You don't need a separate glitter glue to adhere it. But there's also this beautiful metallic gold. Um, and then there's this beautiful metallic purple. Um, I don't know if I can do that or not. Let me see if I can do this. And there are little heart-shaped uh, glitters in there. But all of these colors work so nicely. I did a green eye the other day using the dark and light green and the yellow together uh, with this orange kind of in the 10 and 2 part of my eye. Um, I have used this beautiful blue and it is just stunning. It really is. This particular palette, I think it was $5.99. So, I, it's just amazing. And it's called You Can Be is the name of the brand. So, I, I have three different palettes to show you here because I really couldn't decide which one was the best. I mean, so I know that we all like to have a basic eye. So we like to have that, that light creamy color matte for the lid and we like to have kind of a mid shade light brown neutral for the crease and then we like to have dark shade for the corner and then we can add color and have fun with it well at least that's what i do um, now this one reminded me so much of all the huda beauty palettes that came out um, but look at the series of colors here And these colors are the purples, the blues, you've got some greens, you've got some reds and brown neutrals and yellows. I mean, this is something where you can dip into a color such as this green, for instance, and let me put that in here. We're just going full off glam here. I mean, but look at that. Wow. <laughs> it just has so many beautiful colors. And I think this was something like $11.99 or some $12. I, I don't know, but this is so cool. Um, there's, you know, and this is like a pick and poke kind of thing where you just take a little color and stick it in. I call it the color bar, which is just the center of my lid. And it, um, it just kind of gives you the little essence of the color. It's not all over full, full sash, full sash, as they used to say in Valley Girl Land. Um, but I mean, this one, and this is just stunning, stunning. Look at that color. I mean, it's beautiful. So I cannot really talk highly enough about this brand. Uh, they also have like Huda Beauty and Tasha Denona and um, ABH uh, copycat stuff. This is the Twilight Dusk palette and this has um, 
a lot of neutrals in it. It also has uh, some really nice shimmers up in here. But you've got your nice neutrals, and I love that this whole bottom is all mattes, and then there's a couple mattes in here. But you've got some pretty light shades and light shimmers. You've got some colored shimmers and gold and beige shimmers that I love to line with. And then you've got a black that you can mix with some of the colors to darken them or deepen them up. I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful. And I think this one was $9.99. Quality is just sensational. If not the same formulation, it's so darn close, and it lasts on the eye. And I mean, you know, we're still we're still rocking that glitter stuff. <laughs> so this one is from You Can Be, and that's um, You You Can Be is the name of the brand. So this is the Splashy Candies palette, the one with all the colors. This is the Twilight palette, and then this is Back to School. So these three, I mean, there are, I have another one coming, but I mean, these three are just marvelous. So um, they really took it this year for me for drugstore price of eye palettes, and you can get these on Amazon. For eyeliners, um, Maybelline is just phenomenal with their eyeliner formulas. The, uh, what is this one called? Unstoppable, and then this one, and the Lasting Drama. These two are just so pretty. Oh my gosh! Let me just show you the. Uh, this is the silvery purple shade. Wonderful for lining under the eyes. You can just see this beautiful kind of purple essence the the light catches it in the daytime it's a really nice evening one if you're in a nice place having dinner and then this one is a slate gray uh, this is really good for for upper lining if you don't want to have anything too dramatic dark joan jet lag you want to have something just on the corners here just on the edge up here uh, just something up here to emphasize your eyes a little bit. These are wonderful and they last all day. I think Maybelline just makes the best. And these are the, uh, you know, you turn them off. They're not the kind you sharpen. Both of them are. I, I absolutely love these. So I just recently bought this Revlon um, Brow Fantasy. <laughs> Brow Fantasy. And it is a very um, thin line of dark blonde line on one side and on the other side it is a um, a liquid brow mascara it's got a very large it's got a very large brush uh, the formulation is a little light so it's kind of an all-in-one which is nice you've got your lash mascara there and then you've got on the other side, you've got your um, pencil, so you're going to have to sharpen it. You can make a really fine line with this, and this is really nice. I'm finding Revlon's a little expensive lately, though. I don't know if you've been in the drugstore lately, but Revlon has really upped their prices a lot. It's like a little off. So um, that's not really what I want to recommend as far as brow products go because I like these two and they seem to keep keep on keeping on. Um, this is the Essence Brow and it's just called Blonde. And you can see that makes it really nice. You can do lines, you can do kind of a creamy formulation. For the price, this is really nice, but it does not have a brush on the other end. I like to have a, a brow pencil that has a brush on the other end so I can brush up and um, make everything stand up more naturally. So the NYX wins once again. This is the NYX Micro Brow in Ash Blonde. This is just, this kind of competes with Benefit. It also competes with the ABH. I think this is just one of the best drugstore products that NYX has. I think they just really um, blow it out of the water really, really good. For mascaras, um, there's a couple here. And I tried them both and I like them both. And I have one on one eye and one on the other eye. And you probably can't see the difference. Let me get one of those, that glitter off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
yeah hello <laughs> okay let me get the glitter off this one um is fairly new and I had tried it I don't know back in early November it first came out or the first time I saw it anyway this is Physicians Formula Lash Mixologist 3-in-1 Mascara and it's 3-in-1 because there's two formulations and if you mix them both together that's the third thing so um, if you look at it if there's a bottom side is bigger and the top side is small so if you pull on the bottom side this is the volumizing side, and I have it on this side. It's a wet formula. It really gives you huge lashes and very thick lashes. And then when you put it in there, you can go to the top, and that is the lengthening mascara. It is supposedly a different formula, and the brush is very different as well. And this is perfect for your lower lashes it really gets into the corners. I think it's wonderful. Now, this is the volumizing on the top, the lengthening on the bottom, and their third way, or the three-in-one as they call it, is to add this over the top of the volumizing to make a bigger length. So you do get really big honking lashes. I'm real impressed, I really am. Now the only thing is, is, is if you keep adding layers, you do get clumps, so you have to use, and this is a, this is a product you, you all should have. It is curved, it is a mascara comb. You take the comb as close to the eye as you can get it and run it through, or you can run the end through a clump, because this mascara tends to want to clump your lashes into little groupings so um but i really like it it lasts a long time and then you know from blinking up it does not leave dings up here in your upper lid so this is a really really nice mascara i like it better than lash paradise i like it better than what else do i have here um i like it better than the clump crusher i mean i i've tried a lot of you know drugstore mascaras uh much better than the warrior the warrior princess from um, flower beauty and this is wonderful and it was such a surprise because physicians formula you know was hit or miss for me but remember the people who own wet and wild bought physicians formula so they might be messing with formulations and stuff and using some of the wet and wild formulations and they have some good uh, mascaras as well so this is the Lash Mixologist 3-in-1. This is like my Tide for First mascara for 2020 in the drugstore. Um, I am also going to show you this one. This is from Joa. And Joa is a brand that's kind of hard to find uh, unless you're in the U.S. because it's in our CVS stores. Um, Joa is a Korean brand, so you may be able to get it on Amazon. I will look for a link that you can find it. But this mascara, oh my gosh, this is called the Lash Uprising. <laughs> and this is a dry formula mascara. Um, but what I really like about it is it's not as messy. You don't get, you know, like a lot of times when you put a wet mascara on, it gets all over your eyelid and everything. You have to go in with a Q-tip afterwards and clean up. But with this one, it's a dry formula, so you have very less like, likely a chance of being messy, and it's very controllable. And you can use this on upper and lower. I really like this mascara. It's a dry formulation. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, and it is called Lash Uprising from Joa Cosmetics. And they're kind of an unusual line, um, the whole Korean makeup line kick thing that's coming out right now. Um, they've been out for probably about a year. I hadn't seen this mascara though before. I tried this in late November, early December, and I like to give a mascara several tries, like in heat, humidity, um, in a snowstorm, you know, where it gets wet, what happens when it gets wet, and it passed all those tests. So the Joa Lash Uprising, this is a marvelous, marvelous mascara. For face sprays. Um, I was going to talk, you know, I, I've always loved Morphe and I think Morphe has a great, it's a very light spray and it works really well. And I also love um, the Catrice HD Active. This one has a scent to it though that some people don't like. This works really well. But this one is the one that really impressed me this year. You will get a little bit of spray though once in a while, you know, you'll get a little droplet here and there. 
this spray is like an, an, an elegant luxury spray. There is a scent to it, so uh, if you don't like that, this is the, the um, Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray, and that's what makes it a little different from normal setting sprays, like the ones that are, um, like I've been using this for years. This is the Scandinavia Bridal Spray, which is like, that is plaster. I mean, it's just, this is like, that's like final net for your face. That's a really strong um, makeup holder. That's a one-time event thing or else you'll clog your pores. Um, this one hydrates your skin and it makes your makeup just melt together so nicely and it's always sold out. If you try to look for it where they used to have flour in Walmart, um, this was always sold out. But I saw that now that they carry flour products in CVS, um, there it was, and I was like, yes, yes. So it's really good, you get a lot for your money. I think it's like $9, so it's kind of expensive um, for a spray, so keep that in mind. Four lip liners. Um, this is new for me for 2020 Juvia's Place and they're having a bang up sale right now and these I think are on sale for like half price. We always think of Juvia's Place as being the, the ones who have those great warrior eye palettes and really good formulations for eyeshadows but they do have this great lipstick liner. Absolutely wonderful under especially your darker shades or your dark nudes. This is a wonderful shade and it's called Lush from Juvia's Place. Uh, also from Juvia's Place is this, which is the um, their lip toppers. Oh my gosh, this one's called Glazed. I'm just gonna put this on. We're just all kinds of colors today, aren't we? We're festive. I was in um, a grocery store um, shopping yesterday and I found this cookie in the bakery counter and it said Good Riddance 2020. It was on the cookie, you know, that you would cut for your party. <laughs> but it was really clever. So you can see what it did to the lipstick. It just kind of gave it a sheen of kind of pink goodness. So I really like this one. It's called Glazed and that's from Juvia's Place. They also have a wonderful lipstick formula and this one ironically is called 2020. <laughs> um, this is the lipstick shade 2020. I'll just put it in the middle there of, <laughs> of that. Um, it's a beautiful dark nude neutral. Um, really, really pretty. It's mid-tone on me, you know, white, fish belly white girl. Um, it's a good mid-tone pink if I want to go a little bit more formal looking, but not over the top. You know, this isn't the red. This is uh, more of a, a neutral, natural look. But in the evening, this looks really nice and very professional. I was wearing on my lips before I turned them to the pink shade was this. This is CoverGirl and I think these are old school like from the 80s and 90s. These shades, this one is bronzed peach and it's a really pretty, pretty color. I had it on the beginning of this video until I just turned it pink but this is the shade and I'll just put it right there. Very, very pretty. And I got it actually because I've been watching, I was watching Tammy and every now and then she wears the MAC shade which is called uh, Shanghai Spice and it's a discontinued shade and every time I see her in it I think I have got to find a dupe for that because it's so beautiful and I don't know if it's just her lighting or what but it looks so beautiful on her and she and I have similar coloring. So I thought, geez, you know, I'm gonna try and find something that's like Shanghai Spice. I thought this was close, but it's not. But it is a beautiful shade. And these hang up above all of the CoverGirl lipsticks are all here, but these are hanging above. Like, yeah, there's like three or four different shades hanging above. And these are the bronzed, satiny lipsticks. They're really, really nice. Very, very hydrating for winter. I bite my lip all the time, and they hide that really well, so that is um, 
bronzed peach is the is the shade. Um, my favorites always, I think every year I, I go back to this, this twisted toff toffee, and this is fairly new. This is a copper shade. Um, I think this is roasted hazelnut is the shade. These are just gorgeous, just gorgeous. These are the shades that dry really, really uh, hard on your lips and you have to put on the other side, you have to put the balm over the top or else your lips are way too dry. Uh, they last all day. These are the 24 hours from um, Maybelline Superstays. Let me just put, this is my favorite shade. This is the uh, Twisted Toffee shade. It's just, just gorgeous. I love these two. Um, these are two of my favorites. So you can't go wrong with these. These They do dry your lips out if you wear them continuously, but if you just wear them one day, they're, they're not going to bother you. But if you wear them like two or three days in a row, you will find that uh, they dry out your lips a little bit. But they are just gorgeous, and there's such good staying power there. So now this one is the Revlon version of those Maybelline Superstays, and this is Perennial Peach is the name of this shade. Uh, same idea where you... Um, take the shade and put this on your lips. Very, very pretty. It's a little bit lighter than these two. You let it dry for a minute or two and then you put, uh, this one has a brush on it and you just brush this over the top and it makes a nice sheen and seals it over the top. So I guess this is their Revlon's version of the uh, Superstay color. 24 hour color Revlon, uh, Maybelline ones. So I love this. This is great. So those are my lip things. One last thing I discovered this year um, uh, with one of my friends, we did Color Street. These run around 14, 12 to 14 for two sets. And you can always um, cut them really short, but these are just beautiful. You literally you peel off the back, press it on your finger and break off the top and it's there. It's there for days. In fact, it takes a little bit of doing to get them off, but I really love it. I think these are just gorgeous uh, nails, the color streets. And I know there's a couple of YouTubers, uh, some of my buddies out there that sell these as well. Um, so color street, and this is if you don't want to deal with nail polish and waiting for it to dry and having it run. These things are really sturdy and hard and they are actually made with nail polish. So they're not plastic or anything else. They're actually nail polish and it's very pliable. But once you stick them on your finger and you press them in, they are there just like nail polish. It's so cool. Color Street. Uh, the very last thing I'm going to talk about here is scent. Hello. <laughs> Is it me <laughs> you're looking for? This is uh, Lionel Richie's scent. And he created a female version of the scent and a male version of the scent, and he's named it Hello. And he went through tons and tons of different um, scent categories to come up with these scents. I really like this. For a drugstore scent, you get uh, this beautiful bottle. It looks like it has a gold fishnet around it. And uh, it's just very, very different from other kinds of drugstore scent. Because usually when you, when you hit yourself with a drugstore scent, you get the pretty top note at first. But then after five, 10 minutes, you get that walrus pong, I used to call it. <laughs> and it gets that, it's almost a harsh twang of a smell. This stays beautiful. It's got beautiful floral top notes, and I know that he's got a list of things that he uses for it. It runs for $30, and you get a big thing of uh, body spray, and you get the perfume for $30. And this is wonderful. After a shower and you moisturize, spray a little of this stuff on, 
I tell you, you're good to go, depending on your plants, if you know what I mean. Nod, nod, wink, wink. <laughs> um, yeah, that's good. And I, I really like this. Now, I haven't smelled the male version of this. I think I have a feeling it's stronger and it has slightly different ingredients. There's more musk and stuff in there. It's more earthy, crunchy. So I think the men's version is a little bit, probably a little stronger, a little more masculine than this. But I like this. I think he did a great job with it. And, you know, for a drugstore scent, this lasted just as long as my high-end scents that I'll talk about when I do my high-end makeup and perfume. Absolutely beautiful. So Lionel Richie, hello, did a great job. I think that's just wonderful. And I'm so glad because he's such a nice person, you know? He's just such a nice guy. And some of my favorite songs from, from the 70s, from disco, it's the happiest memories are, you know, easy, I'm easy, that's all, oh, I love it. Anyway. Check this out if you can because it's really a marvelous deal and I got it on sale at Walgreens right now. It's $22 on sale so can't miss there. So, so the big star, um, since it is New Year's, this is Sheepdog Peanut Butter Whiskey. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Um, this has more of a vanilla kind of taste to it. It's not really peanut butter and it's not a whiskey taste at all. Very dangerously delicious actually. So as we're getting close to midnight now, I want to wish all of you a very happy, healthy, safe, wonderful, successful new year. We've earned it. We've been through it all. We've learned some hard lessons this year. I've had a terrible year. Um, you know, I've had my separation, lost my job, got a job, lost the job, got a job, lost the job, unemployed, struggling. I had amazing friends and family who came through for me, and some of you through Patreon uh, supported me through some really, really rough weeks. Um, but you know what? I love my new job. It's a dream job. It pays well. I'm finally getting paychecks again, and I'll be able to... Uh, to hit the Sephora again, I did actually order a Lucky Bag from uh, Beautylish. They had the Lucky Bag thing and I was able to get a Lucky Bag. So they're being delivered I think mid-January, so I'll be doing a special on that. My next video will be all about lifestyle, uh, drinks, uh, skin care, hair care, and uh, stuff that didn't fit into the makeup realm. And then my last video for um, the January, end of December kind of thing will be my high-end luxury favorites for 2020. So here's to you. Thank you so much. I so appreciate you. And um, cheers, everybody. Uh, it can only go up from down. So happy new year. Uh, love that stuff sheepdog. <laughs> okay, you all have a wonderful week and have a beautiful day and I'll be back in a few days with my lifestyle and skincare and hair care stuff and food and drink and uh, I'm on Noom now so I, fi I finally joined Noom. So I'm, yeah, you know, I gotta lose that weight, gotta lose that weight so I can meet, meet that man. So, cheers everybody. Take care. Toodles.